What's up guys, welcome back to the Hellcat channel. We got a little preview today of a new Banshee that we have purchased. It's actually my cousin's and I'm gonna give y'all a little shot of it. Uh, the four had a few little issues when we got it. He's just wanting to make this thing better and uh, we've done got it tore apart as of last night. He's ordered uh, a lot of things for it and I'm gonna go over a few of those with you and I'm gonna show you a little bit of the process of the uh, tear down for the people that don't know about the banshees and uh we'll do like a uh, an after of this uh banshee to show you how good the mods was on it and everything and how he likes it so if you haven't done this already smash that subscribe button share with your friends hit that notification bell so you know when i upload stuff and sorry guys i didn't get to upload some more pictures or not pictures but videos of the banshee give you a shot of it right here but it has been raining here non-stop and it's supposed to clear up matter of fact i'm about to upload some videos of the king quad here and show you the mud that we've gotten into this weekend and show you why hondas just can't hang with these bad boys right here these king quads are an awesome four-wheeler but there's the banshee and here's the project that we just picked up this is a 03 banshee we checked the compression on it yesterday it is 140 psi now we're unsure if the head's been shaved on it or whatnot, but uh, it's got a pretty good bit of compression. So things that we did notice yesterday that was wrong with it was uh, the case has just a little bit of whack right here, but it looks like it's been professionally welded up, which you can see right here, it's not that big of a deal. So he's not worried too much about that. We did find out that it has a adjustable timing plate it's already set on plus four degrees, which is cool. We have V-Force 4 reeds coming, a coup head with 21cc domes. He has a set of pipes coming, and I think I will tell y'all that uh, these are DMC aliens. Now, y'all put down in the comments what y'all think of those. This will be the first set we've actually had. He was going to get FMF, but, well... He decided to get these. One of my buddies had them, and he said he liked them better than the FMFs. It's also, he's going to put pod filters back on it. We are leaving the factory air box off, as you see right there. Therefore, he's going to put the pods back on it, which I think he's going to like better either way. He's also got a chrome clutch cover coming for it. You can see this one looks pretty rough. The dipstick that's in it right now is actually cross-threaded. Got a new one of them coming for it. Uh, let's see. New chain and sprockets, as you can see here. This sprocket's pretty, pretty heavily damaged. You can actually see. Let it focus right here. See the one that's missing a tooth right there? So apparently the people that had it in uh, its past life didn't notice it had a sprocket messed up, but uh, no big deal. We're going to put some new ones on it. We may just call this one Mr. Nasty 2, but this is going to be a stock cylinder one, and uh, he's getting a new stator cover also. But all in all, I mean, this folder looks pretty dang good. All three banshees got some carbon fiber on it. Not bad at all. It's got a few little things need to be fixed up on it. Not that big of a deal. But yeah, it ran. I mean, there wasn't nothing wrong with it. The clutch slips a little. I mean, besides that, it needs new back brake pads. But you know, put down in the comments what y'all think, man. What, uh, matter of fact, how about y'all post some links in the comments of what kind of decal kit might look good on this because we're undecided on that at the moment. The back fenders are solid black also. Y'all share some eBay links or something other like that. What y'all think might be pretty darn cool and good looking on it. But uh, when I get the parts in, I will make another video and show y'all everything we got laid out to go on this full wheeler. This is going to be a update series on part one of this Banshee Beast right here. Got a new front bumper coming for it also. But yeah, we'll do another video showing some of these 
And hopefully if it stops this darn raining, we're going to get some more of, uh, of this bad boy out riding with a few of my buddies in their 450s. We're going to pick up a, a quad racer 450 here in a few days. And, uh, boys, we should, we should have it good to go. And I uh, hope we can make some more videos. And uh, also, some of y'all posted in some of the comments here, if you don't care, what, what kind of good video editing do y'all use as far as splicing goes? I've tried a few. I like the GoPro app. But uh, they seem to be a little slow. But yeah, y'all go ahead and do that, man. And uh, like I said, when these parts come in, I'll, I'll, uh, we'll post some more videos, man. And we'll let you know how this bad boy runs. I'm going to jet it for him, get everything running pretty decent. And that's what we're going to do. Appreciate it, guys. Have a good day.